Uh, right, so I'd just like to make a few things clear. Um, first of all, generics are um, a fiction perpetrated by the compiler. It's, it's a complete illusion done by the compiler. There's, there's no such thing as a generic class or interface at runtime. It's, it's all done at compile time. Now, um, if you take a look at these two examples here, um, here's a, a class that is all done, that uses list uh, generically, and exactly the same thing here, um, doing exactly the same thing, um, and using it in the old non-generic way. And uh, you can do this because the old code compiles just like it did before, so there's nothing wrong with this. You can use the code non-generically or generically, like that. And if you examine it, um, uh, byte for byte, um, the code which uh, gets executed is exactly the same in both cases. There's absolutely no difference. I mean, in here you even find um, the uh, cast to type foo, just like you do over here. There's absolutely no difference between the two. Um, in fact, um, the class file itself would be identical, except... Um, there is um, there's a little bit of extra data put into the constant pool, but uh, that's not generally accessible to uh, programs except by some various devious means using reflection and so on. So um, anyway, the important thing is what gets executed is absolutely identical between the two. Now, um, that, what that means is that um, the compiler uh, that uh, generates code that uses the old pre-generic form of list and array list and all the rest of it and it inserts any casts and in, of course it also checks that anything um, added to um, secret in this case um, is of the correct type and uh, it won't allow things like object to be added in this case over here um, only things of type um, foo or, or of course a subclass of foo now, um, this um, process of, of converting from a list of foo to list and so on uh, is called um, erasure, and, and I'll cover that in some detail later. Um, but all of this, of course, has got some consequences, because if we take a look at something like this, where we've got class A here, if we try and implement list of string and list of integer, uh, you're going to get a compiler error and the reason for that of course is because um, the erasure process will effectively turn it into class A implements list and uh, list because it erases these uh, types and uh, that's why you get an error. Now the old uh, pre-generic type of list here for example is referred to as the raw type 